Welcome to my guest bedroom. When we moved into this house a few months ago, it was my goal to decorate my guest bedroom using only thrifted items. And today is part one of that series. And I'm so excited to show you how I decorate this room, guys. I have so many beautiful and unique things that I've purchased over the past couple of months. So obviously you guys have been watching Thriftmas for, this is day 13 now, so you've been watching for 13 days. But I have been collecting things for a couple of months now. So I think it's taken me about three months to gather everything that I've bought so far. But in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you some of the bigger items that I've bought. And uh, the way that this sort of little mini series within Thriftmas is gonna work is, today's video is some larger furniture items and how I'm gonna be styling them. Then tomorrow, We'll have some more furniture and I'll also be flipping some items too. Then the next episode is basically going to be decorating with little little things like plant pots and vases and things on the walls and all that sort of thing. So with that, let me just quickly give you a tour. Not that there's very much to see. So this is our guest bedroom. This is the room that our guests are going to be staying in, mostly Sam. Sam stays in here all the time. Up until today, this room has had the bed and a couple of plant stands in it, and that's all. That's the only thing. I've obviously taken the plant stands out. I've cleared the whole room now. But really, this is the room that I'm mostly going to be filming in. It has really nice natural light. It's got a very big window, and I really like the mint-colored wall. The old owners of this house actually painted the wall that color, so I was really, really happy when I moved in because it meant I didn't have to paint this room pastel. It already came like that. Every single item that comes through those doors is going to be thrifted. The only thing in this room that's not from a thrift store is our bed because we, we already have this one and we already have one in our own room as well. So this is the only thing. But aside from the bed, every other thing will be thrifted. And also we have some plants, but you can ignore those. Or maybe you can't. Maybe you're a crazy plant person like me and you can't ignore them. I'll talk about the plants in another video. So with that, let's bring in the first item. Alright, and can I get a warm welcome for my first piece of furniture in the guest bedroom, this absolutely mind-blowingly beautiful pink dresser and its two matching bedside tables. I walked into the Vinnies at Castle Hill the other day and it had only been a couple of days since I was last there. I go there a lot, I drive past it all the time. And I thought, oh, I'm just gonna duck in and grab some more Christmas decorations. And I walked through the door and lo and behold, this was right there in the very center of the Vinnies. Like that, they just put it there for me. They were like, hey, you know, Alex comes in here a lot. Let's just put this right here in the middle so she sees it next time she comes in. I, I could have cried. I actually think I felt tears welling in my eyes. This is everything that I could possibly want and more. It's a pastel pink dressing table with a humongous arched mirror that is, might I add, the right height for me because sometimes when I, you know, when there's vanity mirrors, like I have a makeup vanity upstairs, and when I stand in front of it, it's like that tall, so I have to bend over if I want to look at myself. Not this one. There's my head. There's the light bulb up on the ceiling. I can see everything. This is just unbelievably good. It has gold knobs on it, but they might need to be redone a little bit because they're kind of tarnished. But aside from that, six beautiful big drawers and the bedside tables too are a really good size. Now, the thing is that I actually had bought two bedside tables way back in episode one, which I was going to sand back and paint pink. But I have these now. So I think that I'm still going to flip those, but I'm gonna give them to my friend Grace, who is in desperate need of some new furniture. She just moved into a new place. so. Anyway, here are the drawers. They were really, really, really good size. And I'll show you what I mean about the knobs. They might need to be redone. Can you see that they're kind of worn? Like the gold has actually rubbed off along here and on there. So it's actually showing silver, a little bit of silver underneath. So I got this whole set, this three piece set for 270 Australian dollars, which is probably maybe like 200 US dollars or maybe like 180 US, no. $270, isn't that insanity? Like the whole three piece thing. So they said that you could buy the things separately and it was uh, $30 per little bedside table and then they were charging 250 for this. But if you got all three together, it was 270. 
So anyway, before we go any further, I'm just gonna tell you my list of things for this room. So a couple of months ago, when I set out to decorate this room using only thrifted items, I wrote myself a list. Now, my color scheme for this room is white, timber, black, green, and pink. So I wanted bedside tables, lamps for the bedside tables, wall art for behind the bed, curtain and curtain rod, bed linen and a throw, bed cushions, a blanket box, a rug for the floor, a hanging mirror for the wall, a clothing rack, storage boxes, a clock, a vanity, a chair for the vanity, a pin board, bookshelves, wall shelves, picture frames, pots, 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 baskets, hanging pots, watering can, salt lamp, floor lamp, humidifier, speaker, vases, and fairy lights. Yes, I know, <laughs> sounds like a lot of stuff, but actually, what I basically, how I put that list together was I saw a beautiful photo of a bedroom on Pinterest and I was like, I want my guest room to look like that. And I just looked at every single item within that room and wrote it on a list. So what I've already found so far in Thriftmas from episode one through to now, we've got bedside tables. We've got lamps for the bedside tables. We have cushions. We've got a vanity. We have the pin board. We've got bookshelves. We have wall shelves. I found picture frames. I've got pots. I found the salt lamp and I found vases. So I still need wall art, curtain rod, bed linen, blanket box, rug, hanging mirror, clothing rack, storage boxes, clock, a chair, baskets, hanging pots, watering can, a floor lamp, humidifier, speaker, and fairy lights. So <laughs> this is only episode 13 now, so I will be in future episodes looking and continuing my search for those items. But what I have found now, I'm gonna start grabbing it all out and showing you it's um, almost 7 p.m. now and the sun is about to go down. Yes, yeah, I know it must be very strange for those of you on the uh, Northern Hemisphere because it probably gets dark at like 4 p.m. Actually, a bunch of people were saying to me, why don't you have lights on your Christmas tree? You have to have lights on your Christmas tree. At Christmas time here, it doesn't get dark until like 8 p.m. <laughs> so lights aren't that important to me. But anyway, I'm gonna go start grabbing the things and if I lose the light, I'm gonna have to go to another room, but uh, for now, this is, this is what we have. We've got the vanity and we have the two bedside tables. So let's start bringing in all the stuff that I'm gonna be using to decorate this room. All right, so obviously you guys know that I've bought more than what's here for this room because you've seen it over the past 12 episodes, but I'm just gonna start off showing you these things in today's episode. And then as we go on over the next few days, we'll slowly start to build up to decorating the entire room. So the first thing that I've got for the room is this stand. Now this is obviously black, but my plan for it is to spray paint all of the black as gold. I'm not gonna do that just yet, but I am gonna set it up at least with the plants in front of the window. As far as pots go for plants, I've been slowly accumulating a little collection. So I've got this one here, this one from my pastel flip video, and this one that I got for $2 from the Salvos in Richmond. I've slowly been accumulating these little Ikea vases that I've been painting. I think I've found three more by this point. I haven't decorated them yet, but I'll do that tomorrow. I've got the little vases that I flip and I have this enormous vase, which I need to flip tomorrow. I'm gonna to be painting this one probably pink and gold. I have this fan favorite plant stand, which I picked up from the Windsor Vinnies. Now I have found that the best spot for this stand is just here off to the side of the window. I think that it gets the best sort of indirect filtered light. I've been using this stand for my peperomias. So I've been toying with the idea of painting this stand. I originally wanted to paint it white or pink and the comment section has been really torn. A lot of people have been saying to leave it and then a lot of people are like, no, it's hideous, you have to paint it. So before I do like the, the final reveal of this room within the next couple of episodes, I need to make up my mind with what I'm gonna do with it. But for now, I'm just gonna sit it here like this with its natural brown color. Speaking of brown, I also have this shelf that I got for $5 from the Salvos in Richmond. Now, I wanted to use this as like a plant shelf, but because it's not clear, you know, like that other shelf, the light can come through the back of it, but this one, it's got the back on it. So I'm gonna try a little bit of a renovation project on it and I might try and move the back forward and I think I'm gonna paint it as well. But until I do that, I'm gonna sit this one over here and I hope that it fits nicely in this spot. Oh, yes! Ah, fits like a finger in a nose. This stand will be great for some of these things like this little board that I got from Vinnie's. This was only $10. I can put my salt lamp on there. For now, I'm gonna use this shelf for some of my low light plants. I'm slowly accumulating a collection of pots for my plants, pots from thrift stores, because at the moment, most of the pots that I have are 
things that I bought from Kmart, Target, Bunnings, you know, Flower Power. But because I want this room to be exclusively thrifted, I've taken some of these out of their pots that I'd originally bought. And I'm gonna wait until I find the right pots for them from the secondhand stores. So as far as my dresser goes, I really don't know how I want to style this yet. This is kind of like my mood board. This is what I envision. And I've got so many things that I could put on here. But I really want to hear what you guys think because for those of you that have been following along for the past 12 days, you might remember some of the awesome items that I picked up and tell me which ones that you think would look nicest on here. Now I do have some things that I forgot to show you in episode one. I got these stunning shell bowls from the Salvos in Dural and I actually bought these way back in episode one but when I was sitting down and showing you guys everything, I just, I forgot to actually hold them up and show you because I had them downstairs, so I forgot to show you, but these were $4 each. So there's a beautiful pink shell and there's also a matching blue one. Now on the back, these have Japan on them. So I was thinking these could look really nice on here. I also have this adorable little shell from Vinnie's. This will be great for jewelry and so will these. To me, just kind of looking at those sitting on here, it just looks a little bit awkward. So I don't know if this is quite the right place for them. Maybe it's a little bit too cluttered. Maybe I should only have like these two and I should put that one somewhere else. I'm not sure right now. See, I've also got these trays that I flipped, which I thought would look really nice on here, but now I'm starting to end up with a little bit too much stuff on here. So I could just have one in the very center. And I feel like blue would be quite nice because it's a good contrast to the pink. But that being said, this pink shell is literally the perfect match for the pink of the dresser. This pink kind of clashes way too much. It's gotta be more of this sort of dusty pink. So I'm just not sure how I'm gonna style this bench top yet. So my next dilemma is the bedside tables and which lamps I want to put on them. So you guys remember that I flipped these. These were originally white and silver and I made them pink and gold. So I could have these ones on top of here, but also this pink, again, really clashes with this pink. It's just way too different. I could put my beloved mushroom lamps. These might be better, but also the thing is that these drawers here, they're so big that the lamp kind of feels a little bit dwarfed by just how big these uh, dresses are. So do I need to find more lamps? Because I'm not against that. So I could have one of these on each side, or I could have one of these on each side. And then there's also always the possibility that I could just change the color of this. I've already sprayed it once, I sprayed it pink. I could use the goof off, the magical goof off and remove the pink and go back to its original white color because white would probably look good. I could just have these as white and gold. I just, you see what I mean, right? Like this pink is just, it's, this is like a modern pink, you know, like this soft pastel millennial kind of pink. And this one's more of like a salmon-y kind of pink, like this fifties color. So not a hundred percent sure yet about what I'm gonna do here. But the other thing I could do, I could get those two big shell plates and put one on each bedside table. Hmm, could have the pink one on one and the blue one on the other. The other thing that I have, I have my two beautiful matching vases. Obviously, none of this is final yet. Nothing's gonna be final until I do like the proper reveal when I've got everything in here, everything on my checklist once I've found it. So I'm just sort of putting things around the place to show you guys, just give you a little bit of an idea of what I might do. I also have my incredible, beautiful, stunning, magnificent photo frames. I've got all of these pink cushions that I've been finding slowly. I'm so happy with all of these. These are adorable. So I've got my beautiful, big, fluffy one. My little strawberry. Now this one was from Miniso. Uh, that's a really cute store, similar to Daiso. And he has his Miniso tag on him. So he's like brand new. They're all slightly different shades of pink, but that doesn't bother me at all. Oh, don't they look so cute? Oh my God. So I also have this wall art, which so many people have been tagging me and people that have been going into thrift stores in Australia have been tagging me on uh, their Instagram stories saying, look what I just found. So many people have donated this. I feel like it was probably, you know, maybe like a big trend in 2015 or something for people to have this print. And then those people outgrew it and they've all started donating it. But I still really, really like it. I think it's beautiful. And my original thought was it would be nice above the bed, but I, it's such a big wall and there's so much free real estate above the bed that I almost want to do that thing. Have you guys seen pictures of like mirror walls? You know where they just go absolutely crazy with frames and mirrors and stuff? 
I'm kind of tempted to do something like that because I have seen that many gold mirrors. I have this one. This is a really, really big one, which I could, in theory, also hang above the bed. So I could hang this directly up on the wall above the bed, but really heavy things above beds make me kind of nervous. They really kind of scare me because I just think, you know, what, what if it falls? And it's an episode of Final Destination. <laughs> but it could be nice to have this up on the wall, and I've seen a whole bunch of other gold mirrors that I could go back and buy. So, what do you guys think? Should I try and turn this wall into one of those like Pinterest walls where it's just a whole bunch of mirrors and frames in all different styles? Do you think that'd be cool and quirky? Or should I try and keep it minimal, you know, just with like something like this? But now, I'm just gonna take this down and leave it somewhere. Actually, this spot on the wall here could be really good for this. This is like the perfect size to go in. Oh, that's not a bad idea. What if I put it here? Oh. And also that gives me really good light for selfies. Now we can't forget the snot mirror. I need to find a place for him too. This is all starting to get a little bit random and not quite cohesive, but that's what I've got to figure out. Do I want it to be like that? Do I want it to be this really sort of cluttered, crazy look where everything's different? You know, like you've got a booger mirror and you've got a gold antique mirror and you've got a millennial fern. Do I want that sort of vibe or do I want to start culling it down and trying to create like a really strong theme in here where it's only stuff that's like, 50s themed, for example. What do you guys think? Do you think I should be a little bit more strict? Or should I just go crazy and just put whatever cool quirky stuff that I want? So if I'm going to go down the quirky uh, avenue, I can always take this and put it up here. This is another spot that could do with a mirror. Or like I said, I could do that thing where I just put mirrors absolutely all over the place. That could be really cool. Or oh, maybe here might be a good spot. Hmm. I don't know with this board if I should be sticking this up on the wall or if I should be resting it on something. See, I could put this up here like this, but I want it to be in the background of when I'm filming. And a lot of the time when I'm filming, I kind of film by uh, sitting on the bed here because then the, the sun is shining in through the window there. So yeah, maybe I should put it up there on the wall so people can remember to please like and subscribe. Still have to think about this one. I'm going to be putting a lot of holes in my wall shortly. <laughs> That'll be next episode. So you remember this grid thing that I got for $2? I'm going to be using this to uh, climb my Hartley philodendron up. I think that this can probably go here because the philodendron, I think it's a pretty good low light plant. This thing came with a whole bunch of clips. There's so many of them. So I'll just start clipping this guy up here. And what I can actually do as this plant grows taller, I can nail this into the wall. So I'm really happy to have this. And I've got a couple of climbing plants too. So. It doesn't just have to be the philodendron. I can put a whole bunch of plants that are climbing onto this thing. So what I've just done for now, I've put these lamps on the dresser until I figure out which lamps I want to have on the bedside tables. But I think what I'm going to do is, I've got so many lovely vases and various knickknacks and plates and bowls and things. So I'm going to sort of take the afternoon and the evening to style the room a little bit better because it's a bit hard doing it on camera, live. Like, I really need to sit down and just stare at the wall for like five hours and think about how I want to style things. But uh, in tomorrow's episode, we'll have a little bit more stuff in this room and it'll be a little bit more styled. But at the moment, I'm just gonna put my little, I've got this nice little gold face and I've got the little shell thing here. And maybe we'll put the blue one. Got this little guy. How does that look? What do you think? Now, we definitely can't forget one of my absolute favorite finds, which is this little mushroom that has the preserved flowers in it. A bunch of people actually told me that these are from, I think it was from the 50s to the 70s that this artist was active, or maybe it was the 70s to the 80s. Put it up on the screen, I actually can't remember now. So, this needs to be kept away from direct sunlight or else the flowers will fade. So this is another good one to be putting up on this little corner shelf over here. Now, luckily for me, these shelves are adjustable. If I want to make any higher or lower, I can. I might need to actually, you know what? Come to think of it, I probably don't need, ooh, I probably don't need all of the shelves. What do you reckon? Maybe I should just have one because some of the vases and things that I have are quite tall. Part of me wants the extra shelf so I can store more things, but then the other part of me thinks, no, no, I need the height of the plants because I want the plants to keep growing. I want my precious babies to get taller. So 
Gotta think about this one, but also I'm gonna be painting this too. Do you guys think I should paint this white? Or should I paint the shelf pink? I'm not sure yet. Now I have some really nice glassware that I want to put on this dresser. And the first thing is this bowl. Now, if you saw yesterday's episode, you might remember that I showed one of these in the antique store. And I said, I bought that yesterday. And a bunch of people were like, I don't remember seeing you buy that. I haven't shown it yet on camera, but uh, I in another haul that's coming up, I bought this and it's so unusual that when I first saw it, I was like, oh, it's so ugly, it's hideous. But then I said to the lady, could I have a look at that glass bowl, please? And she brought it down from the shelf and I kind of was standing in the shop like an idiot, just going, you know, just like for ages. And I was putting it down and backing away and coming closer to it, lifting it up and holding it up to the light. And I looked like a fool. But uh, on the bottom of this, it has a sticker that says Dan Samuels. So I'm gonna research that brand. It's just so unusual. Look at its squiggly little fingers. It's kind of like the green mirror in a way, you know, like super squiggly like that. I can imagine this on the dresser. What do we think? That's the right sort of vibe. I actually think that I need to take these items away. I feel like this dresser needs things that match the kind of 50s theme. It needs unusual quirky glassware. I've got two of my favorite items, the sprinkle vases. These might look nice here too. And how can anyone forget the yellow vase from Finland? That might look nice too on here. See, this is going to be kind of hard for me to curate all of these things so that they match, you know, so it's the right sort of vibe. Maybe I need to take the lamps away. The glassware together. No, see, that kind of clashes too. I either need to go with shells or I need to go with glassware. My little shell collection is slowly growing. I've got my shell candle and now my shell dishes. I think I just really need to rely on Pinterest to help me because I'm not particularly good at putting things together and styling them. Okay, so this photo, for example, there's no rhyme or reason here. It's just a bunch of various things. We've got different heights of vases. We've got different bowls. We've got coffee mugs, a mirror, flowers. I definitely need to get some dried flowers. Ah, oh, this, okay. This to me is perfection. I think I can recreate something like this. A lamp in the middle, we've got some vases, candlestick holder, something shell themed. This little bedside table is styled quite nicely too. It's just a mushroom lamp, a vase, flowers, little bowl, candle. Even this dresser here, we've got a big lamp. We've got little shell vase, candlestick, vase, 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 candles. Yep, okay. Hmm. See, I actually really like this because she's got a little chair in the corner to the left of the dresser and a little coffee table too. I think that I should keep a lookout for a nice chair that I could put in that corner where the shelf is right now. There's so much that I can do with this room. <laughs> Obviously it's in its baby stages at the moment. Don't judge me. I know it doesn't look quite right just yet. It looks a little bit awkward and unbalanced, but tomorrow, tomorrow's a big day. Like gonna get up early in the morning, gonna head out. I've got so many things that I'm on the lookout for. I wanna find some more wall art for the wall behind the bed. I wanna find a curtain and a curtain rod. I need bed linen, so I don't have anything on this bed at the moment. I need to find like a queen size bed, some bed linen. Probably, maybe just white, cause I kind of feel like there's a little bit too much pink going on in the room right now. I know, who am I to say that? How could, blasphemy, really. I'd like to find a blanket box, but I feel like the room's getting a little bit too crowded. I probably don't need that. A rug though, I'm gonna look for a rug tomorrow. Some more mirrors. I need a clock. A clock can be one of the things that I can put up on the cluttered wall. And I need a chair. A couple of other little things here and there. So um, that's it for now because the sun is well and truly going down and it's getting quite dark in here. But I'm gonna spend tonight just kind of playing around with things, putting them in various spots, trying to recreate some of those Pinterest photos that I've seen. Tell me down below what you think I should be putting where, because I've got so many options available to me and I've bought so many lovely things and you guys have been seeing everything I've been buying, so you might have some good ideas that I haven't thought of yet about what I should put where. I'm really excited to go tomorrow and pick up some different shelves that I can put in front of the window because I have so many plants that need to sit in front of that window. There was also a cane shelf at the antique store too that had a nice arch to it, which reminds me of the arch of the mirror. So I have a lot of thinking to do about what furniture that I want to pick up, but basically so far that's styling of the room. I definitely think that those little mushroom lamps are too small for the bedside tables. I do think that I need to put these ones, but I think I might have to take the pink off. Might just have to spray them down and turn them white again because, I don't know, hang on, let, let me try one more time. What do you think guys? Does it look okay? Does the lamp look too out of place or does it look like the pink is kind of clashing or do you think it's all right? 
maybe it's okay. Maybe I'm just being really silly and too fussy and maybe it's totally fine. You guys might really like it. But hey, seeing this sitting on here brings a lot more balance actually. It doesn't really matter that the lamp feels a bit dwarfed by the table because now it's kind of balanced out. So I think that I might actually need to get some more artwork to put on the bedside tables. I think I need to get one for that side and I can probably leave this one here actually. I think that the vases look really, really nice on here. I think the white looks lovely with the pink. Don't know about these, having these here or not. Maybe I need to put these in a different room because I really wanted to keep the color palette as kind of like pink, gold, green, white. I, I basically just wanted a strong color palette, but I'm introducing random colors here and there and they're kind of clashing a little bit. I'm not sure, what do you think? So I changed my mind about where to put the philodendron. I think I'm gonna put it here for now because like I said, it's really nice to balance out these big, big bedside tables with something like this. So having this here and the, the pin board on the other one gives it really nice balance. So I actually think now that I've got a bit of green here, I probably need to put a plant on the other bedside table too. I also have these vessels that I've been propagating things in. These were all thrifted too. I've got a couple of vessels that I think I forgot to show you guys. So I got this one, this was 50 cents. This one's perfect for propagating avocados. The seed that I've got in it is just a little bit small. So I had to prop it up with toothpicks. Then I also have this one. I think that this, this was $2. This is um, supposed to be, I think it's like a wine decanter or something, but this, again, any vessels that have this sort of shape are just perfect to sit your avocado seeds in. So I think that this shelf here is going to become my propagation station. Oh my God, look. Look. Oh, yes, I'm a genius. So put the mushroom lamp on the dresser and lo and behold, like it, it lights up all the glassware and it looks incredible. That might be a good idea. What do you guys think about that? Should I leave the mushroom lamps here? Oh, I think I might be onto something now, guys. There we go. You know what? This is making me think. Maybe I should just dedicate this dresser to all of my really nice glassware. So maybe I should take the shelves away and put them either in another room or somewhere else. I'm gonna go grab some more of the glassware that I've bought. All right, so I've had a thought. I've had a big brain moment. So because I have a blue mushroom lamp and a pink mushroom lamp, what could possibly be cool is putting blue things in front of the pink lamp and pink things in front of the blue lamp. I know, I know, see, university really paid off. All right, so shelves can go away. As much as I want the shell shelf, it is not going to be this dresser. Let's put this guy in front of the blue, this guy in front of the pink. Do I put one of these on each side maybe? And then I've got the purple, blue, okay. How's that? Okay, what do you guys think? So I've got that little corner there, and then this corner over here. Does that look okay? I mean, it looks okay for tonight. I can leave these things like this tonight. I just, oh my God, this pink lamp looks amazing. Now these have two different light bulbs in them. This one has a little tiny light bulb that actually sits very low in the lamp. That one, this one has a huge light bulb. It's like really, really big and it's sitting up here. So they're actually casting the light differently. So I need to find the identical light bulbs for them so they actually cast light evenly. Cause this one, you can see there's like a, a lot of light right here. Whereas this one is more kind of diffused. But I think that I'll just leave the dresser like that for now. This obviously has to be on the dresser. Like there are no exceptions. This stunning old perfume bottle needs to be on here somewhere. And I've just put this cup here because, oh, look at this. How cool does this cup look with the light shining through it? Doesn't it look amazing? You wouldn't really know that it had that sort of pattern if it didn't have light shining through it. So I think I need to get some tea lights to put in this one. This also looks absolutely amazing with the light shining through it too. Oh, I just realized I'm forgetting something. I've had my beautiful glass flowers sitting in a pot. I actually stuck them into the dirt of one of my plants, but I feel like these would actually look really nice here. How's that? Okay, well, I've obviously got a lot of playing around to do in terms of styling this room. So I really wanna hear what you guys think down below. And also, if you have Twitter, that's a really good place to tweet me. If you've seen any photos on Pinterest, for example, if you could take a screenshot 
or like send me the link on Twitter and tell me, hey, I think that something like this would look really nice on your dresser or I think that you should make the wall look like this or decorate your bedside tables like this. Send me your ideas on Twitter or you can link them down below or whatever, but basically over the next couple of days, I'm going to be posting more about this room, getting some more things, bringing more things in here, styling it differently, and then eventually we'll do a big grand reveal at the end and you can see how I've done the whole thing. So with that, that's everything for today's episode. I hope that you enjoyed it. I really encourage you, if you are wanting to decorate a room in your house, I really encourage you to just take your time and have a look through thrift stores. It's taken me a couple of months to get everything that I've got so far and I'm still not there yet. Obviously, if you're in a hurry and you really want to decorate, you can always go to Target, Kmart, cheap places like that. They do have some great options available, but it's so much more rewarding to take the time and slowly look all around wherever the op shops are where you live or even go away from where you live. If you want to have a day trip, drive for an hour, two hours, go find some interesting quirky things. And the longer that it takes you to find the things, the more rewarding it is to bring them home and set them up and see them. The shop that I found this bowl in, for example, like I've been there 20 times in the last couple of months and this just popped up one day. Like every time that you go back, there's going to be something new and it's so, so rewarding to find something that's just right. Like to find the thing that you've been looking for all this time. It's really, really rewarding and it's so much fun and I really highly encourage you to try to do the same thing. If you've got a, a wall in your house or if you've got a, a spare room or like even your laundry or something, pick a space, pick a theme, and then challenge yourself to decorate it using only thrifted items. So with that, I hope that you are enjoying this concept. I'm having a lot of fun doing it and I'm also, I'm also gonna try and decorate some other rooms too. I'll probably do the kitchen, I'll do the bathroom, but this is just the experimental room for now. So with that, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give me a like on it so that I know that you're enjoying this series. And with that, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you tomorrow. Mwah! Welcome, husband. What do you think? Well, it's really pretty. So, uh, what do you think of how I've styled it? How, what, would you do anything differently? You need some doilies. Doilies? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> dainty little, like, lace doilies. Like, some, like, just across the top. Not a bad idea, actually. It would fit with the style. With the style, yeah. Yeah. Or maybe just, like, a circle on them. Oh, that's a good idea. You like it? Mm. Lovely. Lovely, lovely. <laughs> so when are you going to come to a thrift store with me? We're going to do a husband does my thrift haul for me. Why? What do you want? Should we do clothes or should we do home decor? I think I have enough home decor. Maybe clothes. Yeah, I think I have enough clothes. clothes. Uh, hmm. Hmm. Maybe we should get you to buy things yourself. Is that something you guys want to see? Do you want to see clothes for men? Mm. Men clothes? Men clothes. Men clothes. <laughs> Maybe you, we need to do like a challenge, you and Sam, challenging each other to buy better things. For me. For you. Naturally. <laughs> you don't need it anymore. <laughs> hmm, what about... Sam, Sam's room. Sam's room, decorate hmm. Sam's room. Yeah, the little hobble. <laughs> the hobbit hobble. <laughs> <laughs> Under the stairs. <laughs> Decorating under our staircase for our friends here. <laughs> oh, like a little Harry Potter bedroom. Yeah. <laughs>